What's good buddies? It's Royal. Welcome to another iOS 11 video. Before we get started, I need y'all to do me a quick favor and hit that red play button next to the channel name. Thank you. I appreciate it. Today, we're going to be going over the new dock and the new features in the control center. So if y'all ready, let's get it. With this new dock, you're able to access different apps within other applications. So all you have to do is swipe up in an application and the dock is going to come up and you're able to interchange between different apps. Whereas in the previous iOS versions, the only way to go to another app is by basically double clicking or going home. So now that this new dock is able to come up within apps, you can easily switch between your favorite apps whenever you want to. And now you're able to add even more apps than you was able to do in the previous version. So let's go ahead and see how many apps we can max out on this bar. Bow. So let's go ahead and count. I think that's one, two, three. Yeah, that's about 13 apps on the bar. You definitely can add more apps beyond this point. So let's go ahead and remove one of these apps and drag a folder to this bar. You probably thinking by now, well, if I can drag this whole folder down here, is it possible for me to just put every single app on this bar? It definitely is if you want to go with the, the method of using folders. So you just put a bunch of your apps in like 14 different folders because the folder substitute for an app. So remove an app, you can add a folder with like nine apps in that folder. So it is definitely possible. Me personally, I don't think I want to do that, but you can try it if you want to. Let's go ahead and remove some of these apps so I can show you this next demonstration. You see this bar right here? This basically separates your favorite apps from the suggested slash recent apps. And you can toggle this on and off by going to settings, general, multitasking and dock and at the bottom right there just switch this off and you are just going to, that whole right side is going to disappear and just leave you with your favorite apps let's go ahead and turn it back on and bang the most recently i used app is settings so it came up also um in multitasking and dock i did a whole separate video um, for the new features and multitasking I will drop a link in the description below or you can hit this card right here Now on to the control center if you've been using iOS 11 for the past two weeks or so You pretty much already noticed the new interface in the previous iOS version You was given one control one control panel and just all the controls inside that one panel in iOS 11 almost each individual control has its own separate panel so if you press and hold a control, you're going to be given more options than you have on the default view. When you press and hold music, you have the ability to choose where your music will be played from, whether it's your iPad or some other external device. So with the brightness, your extra option is you can turn night shift on or off. And this new dial is way better than the previous was when you just simply go left or right to control the brightness. Now with camera, you can take a selfie, record a video, record in slow mode, or just take a regular picture, which is great. With the timer, you can have a max up to two hours or a minimum of one minute. Now if you go to the recorder, this new control, you can screen record, start recording, and you also have the ability to control if you want the microphone on and off. A new feature with this control center is that you can customize it. Let's go ahead and go to settings control center and as you can see I can add all of these controls if I wanted to let's go ahead and just add the rest of them now let me go ahead and go back and remove some of these controls and just like that we're back to one row of controls so that is one of the great features of the new control center is the customization that's all our time to the next time buddies be sure to like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe i'ma holler at y'all later be easy